interesting how you mentioned um i wanted to get to that too when you had said when you were talking about um when you when you guys were getting to the space and you were a little too early um being early is, is one of the most important things but there is some level of momentum that you have to build up when you're that early right you're you're kind of going after a very centralized space that is ripe for disruption right as you had said there's there's very few players the, the kings are kind of on their thrones but the the thrones are rickety and they ain't serving right. everybody they're only serving the king's needs so tell me yeah. what what that's like now that you're, you're you're going after this very large very necessary industry but one that's ready for disruption yeah so first of all, I think that, that the, everything I said, the, the banking system knows. Uh, the banking system doesn't like Visa. Visa knows that. Hmm. Uh, the banking system uh, is in a conflict of interest with Visa. Uh, the, the banking system uh, can't replace Visa with another Visa. You know, yeah. we, we, need a, we need a better business model. Think about P2P payments. They, they have zero uh, way to earn, right? If you look at Venmo, which is like social payments in the US, what, what, what is their revenue model? Selling Bitcoins. Uh, if you look at uh, Square Cash, the, the, the most growing you know, social payments app in, in North America, what's their business model? Selling Bitcoin. Uh, even Robinhood, you know, their business model is, is, is to some extent selling Bitcoin. Uh, because business models uh, in the financial system are not that good when you when you try to really give a, a product that is free, and, and you're not trying to make money from user data. Uh, that's that's when it becomes a big problem, and 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 I think those problems are not solved, especially since this uh, this system incurs heavy heavy fees for their operators, uh, because the system is from the 60s. Visa is a 60 is a is a technology from the 60s. ACH is a technology from the 60s. It's all very, very uh, old systems that are not meant for the online world. So what Fuse is saying is, uh, is uh, not that we're going to offer a better, better business model, is that for once we were using blockchains for what they are, a way to lower cost. I can offer today a cheaper uh, uh, fee than Visa and, uh, and Stripe and Square uh, because uh, People don't take into account that because of their inefficiencies, you know, settlement takes a week or a couple of days. My settlement is immediate. So I can be faster and cheaper already today. You know, people say in blockchains are slow, but I can show how they already faster than Visa. So that's really where, where I see the, this technology shines in, in lowering barriers, lowering costs, lowering the fees. Not because we managed to make money from Bitcoin. That's not the reason. But just because the, we're not charging for uh, we're not managing risk and we're not charging for consumer protection and stuff like that. We're charging for how much data you're putting in the blockchain, how many bytes, kilobytes uh, you're, you're putting into the blockchain. doesn't matter if it's a million dollars or one dollar, we're not managing uh, risks. We also don't offer any cash chargeback service. Crypto is one way. Yeah. It's like uh, sending an email. So naturally those properties, you know, when you work with push instead of pull, when you don't offer consumer protection, you let other people offer consumer protection. When you're not, not managing risk, when there's no underwriting process, which is very expensive, mm -hmm. uh, when it's not fragmented and you need to like manage, uh, uh, you know, um, if the user is, um, is sending from this bank or that bank, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, you can really lower all the transaction costs because it's a, it's a radically more modern architecture.